¿Qué clase? These officers are walking into the thick forest in search of an elephant that has been injured by a trap gun. Unlike the usual scene of a trap gun injury, this animal got injured on its belly. You can't see it at a glance, but someone has noticed this and informed these wildlife officers. The officers had to clear the path and go to the side of the elephant. As soon as they got there, they sedated the elephant by darting a sedative drug from a distance. In a few moments, the elephant fell down sedated. The vets and officers rushed to the animal to make sure he has not squashed his trunk, as if that happened, he could have a difficulty in breathing and the situation could get worse. Anyway, to treat an injury on an elephant's belly, he needs to be in a reclined position. The wound is a big one, much bigger than expected. It is surrounded by flies and filled with maggots. Although this animal looks quite fit right now, this wound could quickly turn into an infection which could do severe damage to his body organs. Hence, this treatment is essential. Even though the animal is sedated, it is difficult to predict its behavior, as it is in a lot of pain. Therefore, the officers decided to tie the elephant on its legs to a nearby tree using ropes, while the vets started preparing the required drugs. According to medical experts present here, the elephant's pulse rate is normal. He looks all right in his physical appearance too. That means he is well fed and is healthy, if not for this putrid wound. The vets immediately start cleaning the wound thoroughly using hydrogen peroxide, leaving some on the wound for a while. This will kill pathogens through oxidation bursts and local oxygen production. The dead cells in the wound would also be removed with this reaction. A cotton swab soaked in peroxide is used to wipe off the wound. Hydrogen peroxide is taken in a syringe and injected into the wound. This is done to kill the maggots and the infestation that is formed further inside the wound. The vets scrape off the infested part of the flesh and clean it thoroughly using more cotton. In the meantime, a few other vets are making medicine by mixing parts of negasunt powder and povidone iodine. Negasunt powder is an antibacterial wound dressing that is used on maggoted wounds. Povidone iodine is an antiseptic that can be used on wounds to prevent wound infection. In situations like this, it is very important that wildlife officers and vets work with a clear understanding of each other's role. Time is precious as the treatment should be done within the little time they have. In addition to cleaning and treating the wound, essential medicines such as antibiotics, multivitamins, and painkillers are also given through intramuscular injections. These medicines will work efficiently to prevent infection, boost immunity, and manage the severe pain the animal is experiencing. When treating an elephant, especially in this condition and environment, a large group of experts on the subject is needed. They need to work together towards the same goal of rescuing the animal. Veterinarians and wildlife officers are dependent on each other for interconnected tasks which make each person responsible for the accomplishment of the same. That is exactly what we see here. While some officers clear the surroundings, 
Some others assist the vets to clean the wounds, some prepare the medicines, and some are keeping an eye on the behavior of the animal. The wound has been thoroughly cleaned. They also remove the dead infected skin tissues in the wound as it is not possible for a wound to heal with necrotic tissues surrounding it. These video footages have also been removed as they could look eerie. The medicine the vets made earlier by mixing negasunt powder and povidone iodine is stuffed into the wound. Some of it is applied around the infected area too. In addition, povidone iodine is also injected into the wound using a syringe. This magnificent creature has suffered so much because of this injury. These are deliberate injuries done to wild animals as a result of the human-elephant conflict. For some luck, this animal was spotted by people as one that needs help. If not, the plight of this animal would have been far worse than the footage we had to remove. To end the treatment, they spray an antibiotic on the wound and the injection sites. Before reviving the elephant, they need to de-rope the animal carefully. They also clear the forest and make a way for the elephant, which will be of convenience to him when he is up in a while. Usually, the revival drug is given at the end of treatment, on the vein in the ear of the animal. But in this case, the vets decide to administer this drug into a vein in the leg. The vets are simply trying to avoid being visible to the animal, as it could make him feel unsecured otherwise. The vets and officers all wait to see any sign of revival from the animal, but since there is no movement, they decide to give another, smaller dose of the revival drug. After a while, the elephant woke up without any difficulty and walks into the wild. The treatment he received is sufficient for recovery, hence no further treatment is needed. However, forest rangers will watch over this animal's improvement and report to the wildlife office in due course. We are grateful to the entire wildlife team who completed this mission successfully.